Hey guys, welcome to a quick tutorial for FPS Toolkit Lite. I'm going to be showing you how to add your custom arm mesh properly. Sometimes if we just swap the, the arm, even though it's uh, same as Unreal Engine 4 mesh, you might get some weird result. You might not get those weird results, it might work fine. And that's due to the scale of the bones or if your mesh have additional bones that won't translate properly. So in this example, I wanna use this arms. And if I just, uh, for testing purpose, I swap them here uh, in test, you'll see that I get some weird uh, unwanted results. So first we don't have any sockets of the weapons as you can see, but even the weapons way it's totally off and it's not accurate. So let's add some the sockets. So as you can see here, we have this icon right here. We can hide all the bones. So now we have all the sockets that we want to add. And we'll just select them all. Right click, copy, go to your mesh and click anywhere and paste socket. Now, if your mesh have different namings, then you will have to add those sockets manually to the right bones. If the naming of the, the bones are the same as Unreal Engine 4 mesh, then you just paste it like I did. All right, so now we have, we can test again. Uh, you see now the, the gun is showing. And now let's swap. And as you can see, I, I have that weird weapon sway. And if I even if I aim, it's not properly reading. And that's because, uh, as I said, the scale of the bones is different. So to properly fix this, we're going to use IK Retargeter. So what we're going to do, we're going to right click on the custom mesh you want to use. Go to Create. And IK rig and we will open that here quick auto create IK auto create retarget chains so as you can see it generate everything for us you can do this with a custom mesh as well but sometimes might not give you all of them so you'll have to add them manually all right save and the next step we will do the same for the, the default arms just go create IK rig open it up auto create IK auto create retarget chains okay next step we will uh, add uh, an IK retargeter so we go to the targeting IK retargeter right here uh, you can name it whatever you want we'll open it up well, under the source, we're going to use uh, the arms, and on the target, we're going to use <coughs> our custom uh, mesh IK rig. As you can see, make sure the, uh, the bones are aligned properly. You can use auto align if they're not. And if we test, we should see the animation and the fingers and everything is playing properly. All right, so next step. We will go to your custom mesh, right click, and create an onion blueprint. And we will add a node, retargeter, target, uh, pose from mesh, retarget pose from mesh, right here. Connect it to the output pose. Make sure is use attach parent set to true. And here we're gonna use our new retargeter that we create. Compile. Now what we'll do, we need to add our custom mesh to the uh, blueprint character. What do you need to do here? Duplicate the default mesh. We'll name this visual or whatever you prefer. Make sure this is a child of the arm so we can copy the pose from the default arms as you can see and also make sure that we set back this because I did it for a testing purpose that we set back our 
default arms. Perfect. Now go back to the custom mesh and we need to set here our new and new blueprint. This one right here. Go to player and set back the new one. Now you can see that we copied exactly the pose of our arms. All we need to do uh, the last step is to hide our default mesh. So now as you can see all we have is that. Compile and let's give it a try. Now the weapon stays, the weapon sway is properly good. As you can see, it's all good here. I have the values of the weapon sways too much. Let's go back to our FPS toolkit. Maybe we'll search for weapon state. Open this with shotgun. I was messing around with the, with these values, so if I change them to small values, this is probably two. And we'll just move this a little bit to refresh the values. And now I flip over. Now we have a nice weapon swell, as you can see, and, and the shooting also is good, perfect. Loading. Alright, so everything is working with the new mesh as intended, as you can see, and uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I'll be dropping more tutorials uh, for probably the next one will be adding a new weapon, and we'll go from there. Thank you for watching, see you next time.